This is the Sensed In Indoor Outdoor Basketball. I'm Tony. Welcome back to Street Ball Strategies. Got your fate in my grasp. Watch it break. Made a clash. Move swings, hot and cold. Y'all ain't ready, and it shows. I'm a beast and a soul. Please do not get too close. The reason I'm reviewing this basketball is because it's an outdoor basketball and it has over 5,000 reviews on Amazon. It wasn't until I got this ball in the mail that I realized that there was going to be some kind of basketball comparison mystery. If you guys haven't seen my review of the Chow Glow in the Dark Pumpkin Outdoor Basketball, go check that video out. Chow was gracious enough to send me that basketball for free, whereas I bought this Senston basketball. The reason I bring up that Hollow Chow ball is because when I got this ball in the mail, it came in very eerily similar packaging. They're both deflated, and not only that, they both came with almost exactly the same pump. This is the pump that came with the Senston ball. The Hollow Chow pump is almost exactly the same, which made me realize that there's probably some company out there where if you're a basketball brand, if you have an idea for a basketball, you probably send your idea to this company that manufactures and packages basketballs and you tell them, okay, here's the basketball I want, this is what I want it to look like, feel like, the material, all that kind of stuff. They then manufacture and package that basketball and then you can send that ball to Amazon and have Amazon then distribute it for you. I didn't realize that before getting these two basketballs that that's probably the process for smaller basketball companies but that sparked the comparison in me to sort of compare this basketball to that hollow chow pumpkin glow in the dark basketball and this is going to be my one and only review specifically for this basketball usually i would do a first impressions review and then a actual performance review but i'm running out of weather here in michigan for the season uh, it's going to be winter soon. It's probably going to be winter before I have time to thoroughly break in this basketball. So this is going to be my one overall uh, review for this Senston basketball. First, let's touch on the differences in the company. And I don't know this for sure. I'm just making assumptions based on their products. But it seems to me that Hollow Chow seems to be a newer, smaller company, whereas Senston seems to be a larger, more established uh, company that's been around for longer only because of the fact that Senston has 5,000 reviews already on Amazon. But there is a problem right up front which is I don't know what this basketball is made out of. I don't know what the cover on it is. Because on Senston's Amazon page, which again is very similar to Hollow Chow's uh, Amazon page, but I assume that a lot of basketball companies, when you put a basketball on Amazon, they just give you a template to fill out for that page. And because of that, most basketball pages on Amazon have the same template as this ball and many of other basketballs on Amazon. But on the Senston Amazon page for this ball, the first bit of information you see says that this is a leather basketball. It's something called a PU leather basketball. I don't know what PU stands for. But then if you scroll down even further, they say that this is a rubber basketball. So I don't know why that is and that's very confusing and that doesn't help someone try to pick out a basketball when you have conflicting information like that. But I will say for those of you who have gone to that Amazon page and you're watching this video because you're trying to get more information about this ball and get some clarification, the ball feels like composite leather. That hollow chow ball was also a composite leather basketball, but that ball has a little bit of a rubbery feeling to it. A little bit more rubbery, a little bit more tacky, sticky feeling to it. This ball has a little bit more of that, that composite leather smoothness that composite leather uh, balls have, and people who like that smoothness, that's what you get with this basketball compared to that hollow chow ball. When it comes to pebbling, the pebbling on this ball is very standard, it's very flat uh, compared to the hollow chow ball, that hollow chow ball has a little bit better pebbling, a little bit more pronounced, but again, that ball is seems to be meant a little bit more to be have a rubbery feeling, whereas this ball seems to be to have a more uh, composite leather feeling, like the intended uh, grip of this ball seems to be more in the composite leather direction. Because of that, 
composite leather balls usually have a little bit flatter pebbling on them and this is very uh, standard for that. So when you put the material of the ball, which seems to be composite leather, with the pebbling on this ball, when you put those together to give you the overall grip, you do get a classic kind of uh, composite leather feeling. It feels as though once you break this ball in, you're really going to have that average standard kind of composite basketball grip that some players are looking for. The grip channels on this ball are nice. They are better than that hollow chow ball. That hollow chow ball had nice wide grip channels, but they weren't very deep, they weren't very pronounced. On this ball, you'd still get nice wide grip channels, but they are deeper, they are more pronounced. You can really feel them as you're handling the ball. They really do stick out. They're not the greatest, but they are in that higher tier of grip channels when it comes to basketballs. And you would expect that from a ball that's supposed to be leaning in that composite leather category. The more balls I review and the more I try to estimate their durability, like how long the ball is going to last you, the more I feel the need to express that it all depends on your frequency of use with each basketball. You can run any basketball into the ground within a few months of having it if you just use it hours and hours every day. Say somewhere around seven to ten hours of use a week so like an hour or so of use a day i would say for this basketball you're gonna get at least a good year out of it at least that's my estimation just by feeling the ball holding it using it but it should last you a good solid year probably more but in that second year you're really going to start to notice the wear and tear and the slipperiness of the ball. The more worn down composite leather balls get, the more they lose their grip. So maybe you go into that second year as you work your way into it and wear the ball down even more, you're going to lose that grip. So probably somewhere in that second year, you're probably going to have to replace this basketball. In terms of value, this ball at time of purchase was $31. Now, you can buy different colors of this basketball. These just happen to be my favorite colors and I was happy to order them because of it, but this color was $31. There's other colors that go down to somewhere in the like $23, $24 range in September of 2022. I will say for this quality of basketball, that $31 price range is pretty average, pretty standard for a good quality composite leather basketball. However, if you do get other colors, if you go into that $24 range, now you're looking at really, really good value for that price. And at around $30, if this ball does last you two years, that's about $15 per year. I think that's a pretty good value. When it comes to sort of overall performance for the little bit I have used this ball, it does perform the way you would expect it to perform. When you touch it, feel it, you have a certain expectation of how it's going to work for you out at the park, outdoors, on abrasive surfaces. The expectations you have when handling it, the ball lives up to that. This is one of those balls where what you see is what you get and it performs the way you expect it to. There is nothing exceptional about the way this ball performs, but there's also nothing wrong with it either. That is the Senston Indoor Outdoor, I'm gonna say composite leather basketball. It's another good quality composite leather basketball. Very standard, very average. What you see is what you get, and you get a fairly good value for your money. In comparison to that Hollow Chow, uh, pumpkin outdoor basketball. This is a step up in quality, in uh, build, construction of basketball. However, if you're looking for more of a rubber feel, a rubber cover and feeling and a grip to your basketball, you're going to want to go in that hollow chow direction. If you're looking for more of a composite leather feel, grip, construction, you're going to want to go with something like the Senston. If you're interested in this Senston ball and you want to give it a try, even if you don't want this color, if you want a different color, you can get this exact ball by using my affiliate links down below in the comments and the description of this video. After using this ball, I can see why it has 5,000 reviews. It's a good 
quality basketball. It's not one of the big American name brand basketballs, but I think it's on par with those big brand name basketballs on pretty much all levels, including build quality and performance. There's really nothing those big name brand balls offer you that's far or significantly more, you know, superior than these smaller name basketballs. However, with those big brand name basketballs, you can usually find yourself paying a little bit more money just to have those brands. Whereas these balls are a little bit cheaper and they're very on par in terms of quality and performance with those balls. So if you want to give this ball a shot, go ahead and use my affiliate links. Give it a shot, see what you think. Let me know down in the comments. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, if you think it's helpful, if you think it's going to help you decide whether or not to give this ball a chance, please subscribe to the channel. Also, please hit that thanks button. When you hit that button, it directly supports this channel and I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate it being a small YouTube channel like this is. Oh, and by the way, Hollow Chow, uh, they sent me their new basketball. So I will be reviewing that in the coming weeks. I wanna thank those guys for sending me their ball again for free. So make sure you guys stay on the lookout for that review coming up fairly soon. See you guys next week. Can't keep the peace when I'm in the mood. Let me be. Man, I never lose. Don't tempt me. Please, when it comes to vengeance, I could get it with ease. Yeah, you scared. I can see. Oh, you broken. Try to breathe. Ain't no point trying to bob and weave. I just hit him up twice and leave. Such a force to be old. I wake up in the morning, go. Yeah, they cool. But truth be told, you ain't never seen nothing like this before. Yeah, and you should know that my patience running low. I'm a beast. And the <laughs> do not get to not get to.